Mankind finally has the power to make artificial islands. Today's video is on the top 5 unbelievable man-made islands. Number 5. The Palm Islands or the Palm Trilogy Islands are three man-made islands located in Dubai. These three islands are called Palm Jumara, Deira Island, and Palm Jeba Ali. And all of the islands are built with a decadence and luxury that Dubai is known for. The Palm Islands were built when tourism began to boom in Dubai. The influx of so many people meant that beachfront property was becoming scarce. The Prime Minister of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed, realized this, so he commissioned the construction of three huge, breathtaking islands. The islands are an engineering feat of epic proportion, as nearly 3 billion cubic feet of sand had to be dragged from the seafloor to construct the islands. From there, 7 million tons of mountain rock was used to shape the islands into their highly recognizable palm tree figuration. Today, the islands are a playground of shopping malls, entertainment facilities, water theme parks, marinas, and multi-million dollar homes. The islands are connected to the mainland via a six-lane underground traffic tunnel. The Palm Islands, due to their magnificence, have been called the eighth wonder of the world. Number 4. Hull Humal Island, located in the Maldives, is a massive man-made island that was built to meet the rising housing demands of the Maldive region. The island has been referred to as the City of Hope, as the island was built to both support a sustainable economy and also to offer the people of the islands a global experience. It is a vibrant and modern island, with environmentally friendly green architecture throughout. The island is home to the first smart city in the Maldives and utilizes smart technology right down to the island's water, electricity, fire, and sewer systems. The island is two square miles in total and is full of both hotels and homes. It has also become a popular tourist destination as international visitors can appreciate all the modern amenities on the island and also marvel at the beauty of the island's pristine white sandy beaches. Hull Humane Island has managed to blend the historic and cultural tastes of the people of the Maldives while bringing them into the modern world. The island is very forward-thinking, environmentally and economically sustainable, and a visitor's paradise. Number 3. Thumbs Island in California is actually more than just one island. It is a series of islands that were built in 1964, situated just off Long Beach. Unlike the previous two islands, these islands were built to facilitate oil drilling in the area. The group of islands are comprised of four individual islands, and their collective name is THUMS, which is actually an acronym of the companies involved in the building of the islands, Texaco, Humble, Union Oil, Mobile, and Shell. The islands were made from over 600,000 tons of boulders that were brought in from a nearby island. The boulders were used to form the rim of the islands, and from there, 3.2 million cubic yards of material was brought in from the nearby bay to fill the islands. And although it seemed at the time that the islands would be a remarkable and beneficial way to support the oil industry, the islands were met with major backlash from the community. The construction of the islands posed a significant problem. Because the islands were built so close to Long Beach, People in the surrounding area were outraged. Long Beach is known for its multi-million dollar beachfront properties. Oil drilling facilities are not known for their pretty aesthetics. Homeowners and beach enthusiasts didn't want such an ugly oil rig spoiling their view. So the builders of the island had to come up with a compromise. They had to find a way to hide the ugly oil drills. And they did, by covering the island in strange statues and other decorations. The result is an odd mix of drilling equipment and fancy architecture. In fact, the architecture was made by architect Joseph Linich, who is known for creating theme parks. He was hired to make the islands prettier. He oversaw the overhaul of the islands and spent a whopping $10 million to hide the ugly drills with elaborate constructions. That's pretty crazy. Number 2. The Pearl Island in Doha, Qatar is a completely man-made island that spans an impressive two and a half square miles. The island was built by the United Development Company and the design firm Callison. The Pearl is only 1100 feet from the West Bay Lagoon area of Doha, 
and as such, the island is easily accessible to the people of the mainland. This island is true to its name. The modern architecture shines against the sea. It is loaded with high-end amenities, and people flock to the island to take part in the luxury options that the island provides. In fact, everything about the island is luxurious and has quickly become a hot spot for five-star dining, high-end shopping, and entertainment. An island of this size and magnitude comes with a hefty price tag, though. The initial construction of the island cost a whopping two and a half billion dollars. And that doesn't even include any of the infrastructure, buildings, roads, and houses. The island is not completely finished yet, however, as things are still being built to this day. But by the time the island is fully developed, it could cost over $15 billion in total. As of 2015, the island is populated by 12,000 people. But apparently, it is growing very quickly. It's expected that 45,000 people will live on the island, with thousands more vacationing and visiting every year. And although the vacation homes and permanent residents are a central draw to the island, the island also offers five-star hotels, restaurants, shopping plazas, and elaborate recreation facilities. Furthermore, the island has increased Qatar's coastline by over 20 miles cumulatively, providing more tourist opportunities and water sports. Historically, the island is the first place in Qatar where foreign nationals could buy their own piece of land. And as such, the island offers a number of expensive and exclusive waterfront mansions with homeowners from all over the world. The Pearl is clearly one of the most unbelievable man-made islands in the world. And finally, number one. Holland lays claim to one of the largest man-made islands in the world, called Flevo Polder. The name of the island comes from the region it's in, Flevoland, and the word polder. Polders are sections of land that the Dutch have been reclaiming for decades, and the site of this man-made island is no exception. Although the Netherlands has numerous polders, Flevo Polder is unique in that it is entirely surrounded by three lakes. So while other polders are not officially islands, the Flevo Polder, however, is. The construction of Flevo Polder was a feat in modern technology. The island was built in a completely different way that other islands have been made. Most man-made islands are constructed using materials from elsewhere, but Flevo Polder did not bring in any materials to make it an island. It used the land that was already there. First, massive dikes were built around the land. From there, the water was actually drained from the land by large electric pumps. The island was literally formed by removing the water around it. There is a stream of water between the dry land of the island and the old coastline, which provides access to the sea. The island was drained for the first time in 1955, and then again in 1968. The island is protected from flooding by dikes, and is the only island in the world that was built in this exact way. The island spans an unbelievable 370 square miles and is now home to more than 400,000 people. The Flevo Polder was large enough to form a new province in the Netherlands. This island is not just home to residents though. The island has a number of museums and a lively shopping district. As such, the island attracts tourists from Holland and from international countries. People come from all over the world to marvel at this magnificence and unbelievable man-made island. And before we close out today's video, we have one honorable mention that didn't make the list. Disneyland is affectionately called the happiest place on earth, and Disneyland Tokyo is no exception. It may also be the busiest place on earth, attracting 16.6 .6 million visitors each year. But Tokyo Disneyland is a little different than some of the other international Disneyland locations because it sits on its own man-made island that was constructed to host the popular theme park. This development project was incredibly successful as Tokyo's Disneyland makes more profit than most Disneylands. And since its opening, 127 million people have walked through its gates. It is also one of the only Disneylands in the world that is not directly owned by the Disney company, but it is rather licensed the Oriental Land Company. Shortly after its construction, the Japanese government built another man-made island to host the Disney Sea theme park, 
which is a 176-acre park and is found in the Tokyo Disney Resort. Disney Sea alone attracts millions of visitors each year. And although both these islands may not be the biggest man-made islands on this list, the fact that these islands were constructed just to house a theme park is pretty crazy and warrants Disneyland Tokyo a solid spot on our honorable mentions. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out my previous uploads and remember to subscribe for more.